Now, this isn't actually a question because Joe has solved the problem, but it's interesting. And Joe says that he's been watching Skill Builder for years, watched loads and loads of our videos, and it saved him an absolute fortune. So he was alerted to this problem because he kind of, you know, watched so many videos that uh, he knew what was going on. So moved into this new house. This is a new build, not the first owner, but uh, he moved in there to put the heating on and uh, they had a small leak somewhere, got that fixed. Over the coming days, he noticed there was a pressure drop on the boiler. We've heard that one before. So he kept topping it up, and uh, eventually he found this bit of dribble under the radiator here, and that alerted him to the fact there was a leak behind the radiator. Now, if you don't know new build properties, you haven't seen this kind of arrangement before, what they tend to do now in a lot of new builds is they run the pipe work the central heating pipe work down behind the plasterboard and it comes out behind the radiator now you think that's very nice because you don't have pipes coming up from the floor and so on but you do get this rather what i consider to be an ugly bit here which is where the plastic pipe comes out from behind the radiator and joins in to the connection for the radiator valve so you just got that odd bit there which you know really i think looks a bit naff you know let me just put my glasses on he noticed this rust coming down from behind the radiator so he reckoned that must be a leak and got a plumber out and the plumber had a look and saw that the rust was coming down from behind this cover plate now this is behind the radiator between the two radiator brackets there and you can see that the pipes are coming out through these funny little rubber grommets all that is intended to give you air tightness so if there's any leaking in the cavity if there's any air coming through the cavity when it gets to this point it won't blow through around the pipes uh, so there's got what's he got he's got a screw here a screw there and a screw there to put the cover plate on so the pipes come down from within so let's have a look now he's noticed the plumber has worked out that somebody whoever fitted that cover plate has gone through the pipe with the screw and actually it didn't cause a major leak now you very often find this there you are there's a better better view of the hole it's difficult to know quite where that screw was in relation to the rest of it but anyway there you go there's a, a clear hole straight through the pipe and the screw was in there and to some extent if you screw through a bit of plastic pipe very often because it's a nice tight fit the plastic gives way slightly and then it kind of reseals around the screw so it may be years till you actually find out that you've got a leak there but as he said he, he saw the telltale signs that little bit of that little bit of drizzle coming in there so there you are the plumber was able to make a repair which is quite lucky it meant that he could just put a fitting in there and a connector or something and then carry on with the pipe work but it just goes to show that if you're getting a pressure loss and you're baffled as to where it's coming from it could be something as innocent as that a screw a nail even going through a pipe and not really showing up now this comes back to my tried and tested method of finding leaks finding pressure drops on central heating systems which is to put something smelly into the water introduce something doesn't matter a lot of people use a disinfectant or something like that which is a good idea but anything that you've got that's a little bit fragrant you put it in the system you leave it there for a few days just run the system and let it find its way out if you just go sniffing around or if you've got a dog who's good at sniffing around um, give it a chocolate treat if it finds a leak. <laughs> I'm Roger Bisbee. I hope that helped. I hope you found that useful. It wasn't a question as such, but thanks, Joe, for sending it in. So if you can send in good pictures of your questions, you've got a far better chance of getting them aired and getting them answered and getting the wisdom of crowds. That's the thing, isn't it, that our viewers are going to be answering your questions. Not just me. got a whole team. got thousands of people out there who are willing to chuck their two penny worth in. If you're one of them, thanks very much for contributing.